Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a spirit message for sign of Leo, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every single Leo. If you don't like tarot, go ahead and click on something else as well. Um, if you like a personal reading, I'll leave that in the description down below. Another thing you do is we also have a website where things are 50% off, there's a sale going on, and you should definitely, you know, invest into that while it's there. And if you like donating to the channel, feel free to do so. Leo, on the bottom of the deck for the of our energy here for your current situation, we have the Wheel of Fortune and it is upright. Upright is good karma coming your way. You understand, Leo? Things are turning in your favor. We have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups new beginning here. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Six of Wands, Four of Swords. Look at this, Leo. So what I see for you, you have you have the higher being, the divine, taking charge of your life for a minute here, but it's not really in a bad way. It usually isn't. Um, bringing in this new beginning of success, especially if you sell things, like if you're an entrepreneur, I see that happening for you, and I see you, like, leaving... I see you leaving things behind you, Leo, like, leaving the past behind you, right? So, on the bottom of the deck of what's coming toward you, we have the Emperor. The Emperor is Aries, but the Emperor, you are... You are embodying that emperor energy, all right? Having that empire. And you may have an airy spirit around you. Like a spirit, not a person. Spirit. I want to get that clear. We're not talking about a person. A spirit. Like I said, you have the divine taking charge of your life. You have the divine, an upper being, and then you have a spirit. All right. Like, can be someone around you that has passed on. Around you. Bringing in this change. Bringing in this abundance. We have the Six of Swords. We have the World. Queen of Wands, and that is your own card, whether you're male or female, does not matter. Knight of Cups with the Star. The Star is Aquarius, okay? What I, what I feel like you're leaving behind you, you're leaving behind you things that happened, like, years ago. I, you may be really leaving behind like a, a relationship with an Aquarius that happened years ago, or like you know, it's just a while ago. Is the point, Leo? You're leaving that behind you, all right? And it feels like you have done that like a while ago. Maybe they try to come back, and you're like, no, one chance only. So. I see a lot of things changing for you. I see you moving into this higher energy, this higher vibration, and really feeling in your own element here. All right. Messages and advice for you. We have number six, medicine of the butterfly kachina. So this talks about a healing phase that you're going through. Okay. Which definitely does. All right. We have uh, number 18 with Azriel, the angel of transitions. You are going through a transition here. Six of swords and that other card there. All right. It's a transition. We have number 34 with Akatriel. This is the angel of glory. Glory is coming into your life. All right, these two angels are with you throughout October here. We have number 49, co-creation. We're going to get into this in a minute. It does feel like you are co-creating with spirits, all right? But we have number two with beloved Zeus, lovers. This cosmic union is destined for greatness. You have love coming in at a spiritual level. Like when I said, you have spirits, all right, taking control of your life, but they're bringing you someone here. That you're meant to co-create with. We have number 53, Magician in the Mirror. All right, this is something that you're manifesting here. The transformation, there's a big transformation happening here, Leo. Okay. As to who this person is, I don't really know, but you will find out. All right, maybe you already know, but it's a person that's being brought into your life or back into your life, whatever the case may be. Last card for you, we have number 44, We the Future Golden. Versus, okay. Something good is coming your way. Kuan Yin urges you to wheel your future into the present moment. Take call in and draw to the opportunities, teaching, circumstances, and synchronicities waiting for you. That will enable your soul to live its divine destiny with greater abundance, bliss, and creative fulfillment. Look at that, Leo. Yeah, you have good things coming in your way. You are calling that into your life. Magician. 
All right. You have spirit bringing this into your life. So, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.